Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hyper Mind Vanilla. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. Where are we? What are we doing? We're going to have a little bit different format today because, well, I've got some news to share with you. And, well, I I kind of went ham on a project off camera, and so I need to kind of show you what I've done and, you know, confess a little bit about what I've done. I, In case you don't know where we are. Let's just turn around. We are at the skeleton farm. Let's bring this back up. Bring up the HUD. Throw on all my armor. Well, not really all my armor, but you know what I'm doing. So we're at the skeleton farm. And those longtime viewers will know where we are and, and what this is. This is something that I did early on in Hypermine or, or on this map. And Kondrick found this skeleton dungeon. And I turned it into a farm a long time ago. And then came back and did some updates to it to make it a little more efficient. Thanks to some uh, additional uh, back and forth with the dog miner, who is a hypermine viewer um, of, of not just me, but others. And so what we've got is all the skeletons drop down in there and they land on top of that magma block right there, which kills them. And then we've got a mine cart down in there. And now we've got a little bit different of a change. I wasn't quite sure what to do. Okay, let, let me just explain what I've done here and, and why we're coming back here and what's going on. So um, I, I left this alone because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with the decoration because I was kind of initially, what's the word, inspired by the underground biomes mod. And so I was thinking of making an underground biomes and this thing like, sitting in the middle of a tree, but it just didn't work out. I couldn't quite bring myself to think about what to do there. And it would have been a lot of work. My goodness. Anyway, so I've come back here. I couldn't quite figure out how to turn this into an episode. And so I just went ham. Okay. And so you can see we've got a lot, a lot of progress done around there. We changed up the uh, mechanism down there. And we'll get to that in a bit. But let's just go over what we've got here and why we are doing this today. Well, um, yeah, we've got a bit of a, a change in schedule over the next couple of weeks. And so let me just explain this and do a little walking tour. Instead of an underground biome, what I've done is I've set this up such that there are no spawnable spaces inside the farm area, inside the player area. OK, and so you come over here and you'll AFK. OK, see the spawners on. Excellent. And then uh, this is the marker for where you must come before the spawner turns off. See that? Hit that block. Spawner turns on, back away from it, off. Okay, and we're going to have all of the storage here. So bones on one side, arrows on another. And is that how that goes? Yeah. So this is not an um, an XP farm, so we're not going to be getting the player drops. But uh, but yeah, there we go. Anyway, so I am going to, I've got a switch up top that's got those lights on. I'll turn that off once everything gets done. But I don't have the sorting system in place yet. So that's still ongoing. And what I've done is I need to make sure that this place is dark. And so what we've got are these slabs here that hides any light that may be coming through. We are still going to get weird lighting glitch thingies, and that's fine. And then behind that, I've got, uh, what is that? This stuff, concrete. Well, it's not concrete powder, it's concrete. So uh, that's lining that to make it really dark behind there. And it's set back a little bit just to give you a sense of depth if you were to, say, throw in a torch or something. But... We're not going to do that, okay? And that's kind of what we've done here. And um, and yeah, so as we go down, maybe explore some of this. We'll come back up here in a bit. That's the item elevator for the various things. I'll show you where that connects to in a moment. So over the next couple of weeks, things are going to change here on the channel. Not long-term, hopefully, but um, Soap has a new job, okay? And Soap's been working on that process for a little bit. And I haven't been able to tell you if you've been wondering why the content seems kind of light or thin lately or uh, yeah, anyway, I've been working on that and that's why. OK, so I couldn't tell you because I've got co-workers that watch this. And so I didn't want to give them a heads up until everything was finalized. But now it is out in the open. And and yeah, so that transition period is coming up. And that means that, uh, well, I'm going to I've got to close down what I'm doing at my current place, make sure to finish well and do a proper transition to of, of the various things that I was responsible for at, uh, at the previous place. 
I need to make sure that, um, that that's all taken care of and I, I don't leave my team in a lurch um, because that's just bad form. So uh, I want to make sure everything's taken care of. So, um, so uh, over the next couple of weeks, um, you know, this one's going to be kind of short. And then the next week after that, we've got rather large project potentially coming, but we'll see. Okay. I make no promises over here. Uh, we'll get back to that in a bit, but here I want to explain this. We've got a standard dropper. Okay. So the skeletons drop onto that magma block right there. Hopper mine cart is shoved in there, or rather the magma block is shoved onto the hopper mine cart. And that mine cart picks up all the drops, puts them into this hopper, which then carries them all over here. I was thinking of turning them into items and doing a, another item stream like that, but this works out. I've got droppers on top of the hopper, so it shouldn't be too bad. We don't get tons of skeletons through there anyway, so not that big of a deal. And then instead of using the observers like I've been doing, I really didn't want pistons going. I've already got a bunch of hoppers already, so I need to reduce the amount of lag that this thing generates. So we're just using uh, the comparator clock. And if you're wondering why I do that, well, just in case we happen to fill that dropper up, uh, we'll still get a clock running from this comparator right here. So so anyway, that's what we got there. And then the item elevator goes up that shaft right there and goes through the floor and Bob's your uncle. Of course, Bob may not be your uncle. Bob's my uncle. Saw him the other, other week when I visited, uh, uh, went on vacation, visited my family. But but yeah, anyway, so, um, so yeah, so we've got a transition away from the current position and then a transition to the new one. And I'm going to have to do some on the job learning. I've got to learn some new frameworks, um, still computer programming, but a slightly different industry. And so I've got to learn all of that, learn the new place, learn how all of that works. And, uh, and yeah, so over the next couple of weeks, content may still be kind of light. So we, I don't know when we'll get back to normal, but that's kind of what we're doing. All right. So what do we still have? Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Um, but for now, I don't want to just leave this here. I know some of you don't like the talky ones, so we're going to finish this project it, this episode. Okay. It's just that I'm not going to do a lot on camera with you. So you've, you've seen, I've already done a ton of work off camera, filling all this design in, um, next up, I need to take this item elevator, take it up a little bit, send it into an item sorter. We're going to put the bones maybe on that side arrows over there. So we got to do that. And then, uh, we've got. We, we got to take this pathway up. Okay. So I've already done some planning. I figured that out and we're going to connect it back to the road that goes to the witch farm, which is over that way. I got to be careful swinging the pick because we do have haste two on right there. But, uh, but yeah, so I need to do that. So uh, I'm, I'm going to do all that off camera. All right. So I'm going to leave you for a little bit and we'll get this whole thing finished. I'll show you what we've got after we're all done. So uh, do stay tuned for that, but I'll be right back, get all that done, and then walk you through it. See you in a bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I'm just grabbing some extra stuff here and putting away some of the, uh, well, some of the junk that I have been doing. I figured it was time for a progress report. So a little bit of good news and bad news. We've gotten a decent amount of progress done. Let's, uh, let's go back this way. Can we go into here? Yes, we can. Okay, good. So I've shown this area to you uh, a little bit, but uh, let's come over this way. Can we get up top there? Yes, if we aim like right there. That did not work. So let's try that again, shall we? Huh. I, I really messed that one up. What if we went up here? Okay. And then maybe go up here. Good. And we've used a bunch of vendor pearls in the process. So I've got the farm turned on fully. And I think I showed that to you already, but over here, what we've done is finished up. Was there, I thought I heard something. Oh no. You know what? I probably have, I've got an endermite hanging around yet. Yeah, there it is. Goodbye. Okay. So, uh, what, what have I done? Well, we've got the item elevator completely hooked up and we can see items come in here 
And instead of turning it into water streams and running it across a sorter, well, I figured we only needed one sorting cell, right? We just need to, to take a look at the bones. And then from that point, uh, pretty much everything else should be fine. So we'll see some bones come in through there. They'll go down into their chests down below, and that's fine. And then everything else is going to go into this set of things right here. And then as with everything, if you are on a server, and even if you're on single player, something you should keep in mind is overflow protection. So anything extra that comes through here, if it goes past our uh, our sorting, if it backs up to here, then uh, it's going to go into just a hopper dropper or a dropper comparator clock thing and go onto that cactus. So, so that's what we got. And then I've kind of worked out a design of the tower. Can we drop down here? Yes. Okay, good. So uh, what I'm going to do is come into here and then we'll close up behind us like so. And I might need to grab some more ender pearls while I'm at it. I think, do I have my thing right here? Yeah, let's see. Not too many. I'm going to have to go back and grab some from home base, but there we go. So we've got a little bit of a design going. What I've done is I broke up the ceiling instead of having all smooth stone slabs. We've got cobblestone slabs right there following the same contour. And then once we go over to the stairs, I'm using the dynamic lighting feature of Optifine. Once we come here, we go up a half step and then a half step again. And we're going to continue that all the way up here. So if we go up, you can see I've started getting all of these columns in place of the spruce. And then up top, we're using cobblestone slabs to connect those. And then below here, we've got cobblestone stairs. And this goes all the way up that way up top. And because I've got a little bit more of a slope, or it's a, it's a, not more of a slope, it's actually less steep of a slope. Our entrance is a little bit further out. So, so yeah, anyway. Um, the bad news. Yeah, we have made a lot of progress. The bad news is that I've run out of time for this week and I really want to let you know what's going on. So uh, this it's going to be it. This is where we've stopped so far. I've gotten one section done here just to kind of get a feel for how this whole thing is going to go. I'm going to finish the rest of this off camera and I'll show you next time we're together. I'll show you the progress, but I do want to get this out to you. So uh, that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you understand some of the uh, well, lack of content over the next few weeks as I get into the new routine of things. That's right. Um, so if you just remember, I'm, I'm changing jobs. So I'm going to be uh, doing, still got to finish up where I am, and then I got to start getting ready for the up and coming. But uh, hopefully you understand if you, and and your, your understanding is very much appreciated. So thank you so much for watching this time. If you got any comments, questions, or suggestions about the design that you've seen, feel free to leave those in the comment section down below, but that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.